Before I go any further, I did some grinding, but I saved that in a different game file. Because to heal up, I went back to the Arak village. Because I found something that I missed, and I can't, uh, recreate it or anything. So I'm going to use this save file to get back there and show you. So how do I get back? There we go. I keep getting lost. I forget which house it is. Um. This one. Yes. And we come here and sleep. You've been spending a lot of time alone, Aura. What are you doing? Trying to draw your face? You didn't look like that before you took the throne, right? You shouldn't wonder such things. You have to wear a mask to hide it, if that's true. What else is the throne hiding? I don't want things hidden from me. Those are dangerous thoughts, Ara. Come. Banish them and join the others. That will be more pleasant, won't it? Don't exile yourself. Okay, so that was just what I want to show you. And I'll be back with my regular save in just a second. Okay, I guess give it to Sira. And they ought to give you something else in return. An Aurora ring. You're very kind, Aura. However, the past cannot be changed. Whatever brings you this far north, I wish you luck, human. What does that mean? Do I still have the flower? Hmm. Don't want to use that spire just yet. I think I've done everything except talk to Porcelian again. Yep, I've already been up here. Okay, so I'll go back and talk to her. These flowers are for dye. I'm sewing a blue cloak for the first night, Sierra. Okay, so was I not supposed to give him the flower? What if I gave her the flower first? Do I have to go pick another flower? Oh well. I 
guess I'll head back again. And I don't think there's anything left for us to do here, except use that other spire to head back to the present. Um, I'll check down here to see if I'm supposed to pick up another blue flower. Okay, no, I was not supposed to pick up another flower. I thought I might have since he said I couldn't change the past, so I had to get another one to give to her. Oh well. Okay, now let's move on. And I taught Nuo his last um, skill that I really wanted. That one's the attack one, defense, and then agility. So we'll just go... Where can we go? Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh no, it's not anything. Ooh, a mushroom. Okay, that's him taken care of. Anything up here? Oh, yes. Oh, good, another one. Okay, and what was he guarding? Oh, what's that do? Um, let's see. Jagged bracelet. Oh, that's not bad. I'm not gonna use it though. We'll use some potions. Hmm. Is this the... yes. Oh jeez. And since we have so many of... Um, let's see. These items that increase experience gained. Um... Ooh, that does that too. I'll just go ahead and use these. Why not? Really, probably a good idea to use them during a boss battle anyway. I have a feeling this is gonna be a boss battle. I'm terribly disappointed in your descent, Harpscord. And it appears we have a lovely audience to see the fruits of it. Your grip on Evelyn's kingdom ends here. Aha, uh -huh. Evelyn's kingdom. Aren't you a little too trusting, boy? So Evelyn takes the Sky Castle. It makes no difference to me. You might be removing us from your pretty little kingdom, but you aren't stopping a thing. <laughs> What's this stupid bird doing? And he still isn't in the freaking party. Okay, um, this propel, so, why not? Nuo, of course, attack. Why is Nuo's defense down already? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Why not? Just 
she doesn't look like she'll be too far. Of course, I'm probably going to be eating my words in a few minutes. How about him? Oh, finally. Oh, already. Okay, and... Where's... Oh, I don't have the one that I want to use equipped. Okay. I guess now we can just wail on her? Good for her. Might as well not bother healing. What a rebellion. What fun. You. You won't get away this time, Fefneron. Using the Tyrant Axis's daughter to do your dirty work. Ha ha ha. Ha. That's too bad. You threw your entire life away to stop me. Life is full of disappointments, dear Sira. You weren't missing much. Harpsichord. We'll be back for the princess when the Ara crowd picture, Lord Harpy. Root going through Aura's head? Ooh. We have to stop her, Aura. Nope, still not in the party. But let's take a look at the journal entry. Um, sorry, read that one. Fefneron's ship. The second sage, Hasima, is working her way towards the peak of Arcanaut. If she's able to defeat the Aurochs resting king, the Arak will be helpless against the Red Kingdom. Harpsichord and Evelyn have both tried and failed to bring down the errant steward. I can only hope we've a better chance. Hmm. Oh. Ara. Those sages are real bastards, aren't they? Hm. I'll bet Axis gave them a good time as well. Evelyn is supposed to be our kingdom's heir, but it's gotten us nowhere with them around. It's good you've come. Ara, Harpscord told me about you. I left him in charge of our ground forces, though the sages are wresting control from even him. You know this person, Ara? We have a bit of history. The ship Ara took was my doing as well. Hold on. Something doesn't add up. How is the Red Kingdom doing this? Those sages and their ships. Where did they learn to craft them without any means? I saw the east. Your kingdom had to take lumber from the north. The sages taught us. It is a very hidden knowledge. Whales of the sky are a thing of myth. We were lucky, but the sages have outgrown their usefulness. My gobblehead over here managed to build one without sages. Oh, I see. That's interesting, if true. However, if the sages are not put down, we may never reach the throne before the Zare. Beat the Zare to it? The throne should be gotten rid of. It's driven our entire world mad. I see. So that's your game. Come on, Ara. Let's not waste time with them. I am the rightful leader of our kingdom. I won't let us fall to the divinations of the sages, despite our late king's eagerness to do so. I will bring an end to this world's suffering. Huh. I'm a little bit creeped out by her now. A 
nothing new. Nothing new. Okay. Um, can I go over here? Oh, yes. 